preview number two and here to get things started I will open the sample file let's say you need to export something for production to do that you can select the item you want to export go to file export here you can pick PNG or SVG I will do SVG in this case if I have an image in this group that will be exported I can choose to have that image embedded in the SVG code, so it will be base64, or I can link it as a separate image linked to this SVG code. I can even optimize the code, make it minified, so it's a smaller file, it downloads faster. If you use PNG here, again, you have presets for web, iOS, and Android. So that's how you get things exported from Adobe XD. One addition that we have in this build is the ability to marquee select artboard you can draw your selection and now you can move these guys around you can delete them but of course I'm not gonna do anything of that let's talk about grids grids uh, is one of the most requested features in user voice and we have the first iteration of grids here in this build so to access the grids you have to select the artboard by clicking on its title then you go to the property inspector and you activate the grid here you can change its size, you can make this the new default size for grids or you can use the old default one, it's really up to you. Once you have grids there, then let's say I use the pen tool, you can see that as I draw stuff, let's say I'm drawing something here, I would change the color to white. This thing is snapping to the grid. Once I'm happy with my path, I can then marquee select multiple anchor points and I can move them around very easily as well. Another thing that's helping here is, let's say you have a rectangle and you have rounded corners. In the past, you remember you could do rounded corners or you can have option here. You can hold option to have just one changed but now in this build you can also edit the corners using the property inspector here so let's say here I select this one and I can make it bigger or smaller and this follows the CSS order so it's very easy to know which corner is being changed let's say that now I have this guy here and I want to draw a pin icon to be used in this map so first of all, I can draw two circles, then I can align them, and I can use Boolean operations here to subtract. And if I need to edit this, I just double click, and then I can select this anchor point, pull it down here, maybe that's too much, somewhere here, double click to get rid of the handles, and that's my pin. And what is cool about this is that all the changes I make here are non-destructive. So I can go back to my original one, and once I'm happy with my final one, I can then, let's say, remove the border, add some shadow, resize this guy, and drag to my UI. Adobe XD is really good at drag and drop. So you can, for example, let's say I'm here and my copywriter gave me some text that will be added to this area here. So instead of copying and pasting, I can go to Finder and I can drag a text file to any text field here and it populates the text area that I have there. Before I had character spacing, but now I have line spacing. So this is another uh, big request that we got from the community and you can adjust line spacing as well. So now let's say I need to design this repeated grid here. I will delete this and instead of using the current one that's in the sample file let's say I want to bring one from the iOS UI kit that I have available in XD I can now access the UI kit from file open UI kit and then choose Apple iOS and I can then select the the item I want let's say it's this repeated grid I can then right click to copy you see this is the first time you can use right click and you can expect more uh, 
actions being added there. I will copy, I will go back to my artboard paste and because it's a repeater grid I can resize, I can align that a little bit better. And the same way I was able to drag text to an era text, now I can drag text to repeat grid. So here I have some titles, just a text file with some titles. And then I can drag it there. I have some with some times and some subtitles. So this is our first step in that story that we shared at Adobe Max last year around design with data. I can do the same with images. So I can drag images to my repeat grid. So let's say this last image is wrong and I have to bring an image that's in my browser. So now I can drag images from my browser directly to Adobe XD. So I just select the image I want and I drag it to that place. So now it replaces. Once your design is finished and it's time to prototype to tell a story of what's in your mind, the flow and everything, you can go to prototype mode by clicking here. You don't have to export, import, it's just clicking there and you're ready to start prototyping things. Or you can use the new shortcut control tab to switch modes. Once you're in prototype, then you can direct select an item, holding command if it's part of a group, or you can double click to enter the group, and then you just drag a wire to the art where you want it to go. Then everything just works. You can record the video as we mentioned before to share, but then if you need to share this as an online prototype with more people, you can click on share online, give it a title, drag an image, let's say it's this image, and you can create a link. Now all the assets necessary go to create a cloud and you can get a final link to share with your stakeholders to get feedback. You can copy this link or you can click here and then it opens that in the browser where you can test things. If you're testing this on, a, on an iPhone, for example, you don't get these extra items, you have a full screen experience there. If you add this to the home screen of your iPhone, you get this icon as the app icon. It may make a real app. So now let's say I want to create a different version of this prototype, but I don't want to lose this first one that I created. I can create a new link now. So you can go to the same one, you can hit share again, and instead of updating the old link, I can create a new one. Uh, when I share again, I can then manage the links here. And if I click there in manage links, I can one, I can revoke existing items, so I can revoke this guy. I can then get links of existing ones. If you're here managing your links and you're testing your prototype, let's say I'm testing this guy here. And I don't know exactly where to click. If I click on the wrong spot, you see that it highlights, it fades in and out. So there's a hotspot that, that tells the client or the user, there's a clickable area there. So that's all we have for this release of Adobe XD, public preview number two, April release. If you end up sharing your prototypes, creating links for your online prototypes, I'd like to encourage you to upload them to Behance. And if you do so, please hashtag them with made with Adobe XD so that the entire team here can see your work and we can analyze and we can talk and, and, and get feedback. If you need to submit a feature request, you can go to adobexd.uservoice.com. Same for bug filing. So if you find bugs, please submit them here. I'm really, really looking forward to hearing your feedback. Thanks a lot for helping me shape the future of Adobe XD and stay in touch. Thank you. Bye.